Hello everyone, I am APM Muhammadul Islam. Today I am going to present one poster whose title is Top Down Fabrication Method for Fabricating Non Polar Nanopolar Green Light Emitting Diode from Planar LED using Self Assemble Nano Dots. In introduction, uh, GAN based nano structure LEDs offer many potential advantages compared to the conventional thin flame planar LEDs. There are some critical issues of nanostructure LEDs fabrication which should need to solve. One, to prevent the shortening of P and N type semiconductor during deposition of metal contact. Second, avoiding the complex fabrication process for fabricating high yield nanostructure. There are some proposed solutions to avoid the, avoiding, uh, avoid the shortening P and N type semiconductor during deposition of contact which are enlisted in here. The goal of this research work is the fabrication of high yield nanopillar bridge green LEDs and its P-type contact electrode on the P-GAN there. Method self-aligned indium tin nano dot mask and top-down fabrication process. Fab fabrication flow chart. We use planar LED and then deposit silicon dioxide layer and ITO layer. Then we uh, uh, put it in 3% hydrochloric uh, acid solution to fabricate self aligning the nanodot. Then we use ICP to transfer the nanodot pattern to the silicon dioxide. After that, we use ICP RI etching to uh, fabricate nanostructure. Uh, like na non -polar, uh, polar nanopillar green, uh, nanopillar structure which are shown in here experimental result in experimental result first we check the formation of uh, nano dots by using xrd characteristics after 10 seconds we see there are some uh, peak in xrd characteristics which indicate that the formation of nano dot where each nano dot consists of uh, indium and tin particle which are confirmed by using edx mapping characteristics this is what we already uh, reported in our previous work nano dot size and density if we increase the aging time there is no change in nano dot size and density where average nano dot size is about 240 nanometer but if we increase the i to thickness then the nano dot uh, density and size are changed uh, we, uh, which we can clearly see in this characteristics. Therefore, we can say nanodot size and density depend on the ITO thickness. Effect of ITO thickness on uh, nanopillar. If we increase the nano uh, ITO thickness, then the nanodot size are changed, and similarly, the density and uh, uh, of the uh, nanopillar is also changed, which is clearly seen in SEM. A figure of second row fabrication of p contact by oblique angle method we fabricated uh, our p contact by uh, using oblique angle method which is schematic diagram is shown in here in SM figure we can clearly see there are two layer slanted ITO and blanket ITO uh, in magnified figure we can see that the slanted ITO layer uniformly deposit on the each p P, uh, P nanopillar where we did not find any shortening of na nanopillar during deposition of P contact. So blanket ITO layer is used to, to transfer the uh, uniformly inject the current into the nanopillar through the slanted ITO, uh, ITO layer. The, in uh, optoelectronics characteristics, in IP characteristics with the Green nanopillar LED has the similar kind of IP characteristics as like as planar LED. However, it has higher turn on voltage due to parasitic resistance. The uh, nanopillar green LED has the uniform light intensity distribution over the um, uh, chip size. Whoever uh, chip size, there are no the black uh, dot uh, spot in this em emission, which is um, which confirm that there are no shortening. Uh, of nanopillar during deposition of P contact. The peak wavelength of uh, green LED is about 530 nanometer.
in conclusion we can say self aligned indent in nano uh, dots much uh, etching marks is used for fabricating fabricating nano pillar pin wedge led nano nano dot size and density depends on the ido thickness the p type contact electrode is fabricated by using slanted and blanket ido layer which uniform uh, only current is spreading into each nano pillar therefore it is anticipated that the self aligned nano dot will be promising technology for fabricating low cost high yield nanostructure based next generation leds thank you very much for your